Hello and welcome back. A report came through that a massive enemy fleet is heading towards one of our home systems. They are coming for a fight and well they will get a fight because we are going to be preparing ourselves. I'll be quickly jumping to uh, my other ship and I will be joining the fleet. Without further ado, let's jump in. Alright, well, we are in the field now and the enemy fleet has arrived. Primary target would be that hurricane prototype. Okay, target painters on. Focused fire, good. I should have around a hundred kilometer range with my current fit. So all of these ships are well within my optimal range. Okay, the prototype lost its shield, it's taking heavy armor damage now. It's taking hull damage, okay that like that's one down. The secondary target is the next primary target is that logistics. We should be able to shoot it down. We have enough DPS. They are built for long range and I, th I think we are also built for long range. Although I can also uh, do medium range combat with my current fit. That logistics is getting lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> I see that they are repairing it so its shield might go back up. And it's taking distance from us. It's trying to get away. Well, we will see what will happen on that note. Yep, it's boosting its shield now. Okay. We might switch targets here. Let's see what will happen. Yeah, it's it definitely now getting repaired. Oh, wait. It's taking damage again. Oh, that was a that was a huge hit on on its shield there. Okay, now it, it risks losing its shield. Yep, it lost its shield, taking armor damage. That was a big hit on its armor. Taking hull damage. They are repairing it, so they are doing a good job at keeping that logistics alive, but the DPS was a little bit too much for it. Okay, that is one loggy down on the enemy team. Next target, that Ferox. It is 40 plus kilometers away from us. We have enough range, I believe. Will they be more efficient at repairing the enemy ship? That's the question. They started to boost that loggy, but we overwhelmed it. Are we going to do the same now with uh, this Ferox? Well, uh, that Ferox definitely has some very good resistances. I am doing a very minor damage to it. As you can see, there is a lot of friendlies here. Now, I'm not quite sure why we are separated. As you can see, we have two bubbles. Those, the, fir the first bubble that you can see here might be uh, long range ships only, while over here, my bubble here is close range. All right, well, seems like we are switching to the Drake that Ferox is doing a good job at staying alive. Look faster. Okay, let me turn off the propulsion system there. Drake now taking some shield damage, but I think Drakes are known to be very tanky ships, so it will be a tough fight to get one of these down, especially around so many logistics on the in their fleet. But that Ferox is going s slowly down. We will see what will happen on that note. Yeah, they are repairing it, but we're also hitting it, so not a big deal. I think we are surpassing their repairing capabilities. Yep, that, that Drake is also Getting, getting lit up here by our target painters and by our turrets. Okay, 
as you can see based on all of these effects most of us are using auto cannons although I see some railguns as well from time to time still rolling uh, this established fleet might swap to a tornado very soon with long range turrets because these long range turrets have a lot higher range okay we swapped back to the loggy it popped one large shield extender so it will take some some hits the drake is tanking very successfully well we managed to destroy that large shield extender so that's interesting 50 kilometers away from us again still well within my optimal range not quite sure what's the optimal range on our other ships in the fleet oh a new target skite okay a logistics cruiser that will i think we can shoot that one down pretty quickly they're usually not that tanky but you never know so far the enemy fleet has been doing the job at keeping their members alive okay focused fire on the logistics cruiser now yep it's taking damage okay good chipping away at its shield it is boosting itself Ferox Garden popped up the large shield extender again wait a moment why am I okay that was weird why were my turrets shooting the Ferox although I set this one as primary that was weird and that yeah that Loggy is also tanking quite well now I'm curious what if the whole fleet has the same issue with the with the targets what if all of them are, st are still shooting the ferox although they have their weapons on the on this primary target that was very weird I don't know why the ferox did take damage while uh, I placed my turrets on on that loggy now they're 60 kilometers away from us they are gaining range so it will be getting a little bit harder to hit them not quite sure if we lost someone I think we took zero casualties there might be one destroyer that, that got caught but I'm not quite sure if uh, if that destroyer managed to to survive. They dropped the bubbles on the enemy fleet. I think they survived. They are now at 70 kilometers away from us. A little bit more than 70 kilometers. 80 kilometers. In theory, the math tells me that I should be able to hit them still, not with. 100% accuracy but I should be still able to do some damage onto, um, onto that ship so I should be able to hit them and I am doing some damage although they are quite tanky okay sky let's focus on the, on the primary target still Seems like we are also taking range. Okay, I guess uh, we are kind of regrouping at this moment. We're all anchored on our guardian. I should have placed the guardian on the on the watch list just to see how much damage it did take. Yeah, they are now they are now 
over a hundred kilometers away from us. And I think that is already the edge of my range. However, we have, we have some battleships, to, uh, some tempests around, so they should be able to hit them. They have very long range. And of course, we have some sniper cruisers. They also should have enough range. Yeah, they are also anchored on their own logi there, as you can see here. That's a lot of drakes. That's a lot of battle cruisers. Interesting. Well, uh, all of these ships, I guess, are built for long range because they are still firing at us, still hitting us. But we are also we also have some very good logistics and guardians on our team, so we can survive all the incoming damage. Now let's see what are we doing here. Yeah, we are still. Uh, we are now also going away from the main group. I think I have an idea what our fleet commanders are up to at this moment. If we are lucky, we are going to get all of them now. <laughs> if we are lucky, of course. If not, well, there is always, uh, always another time. I forgot that we also had some dummies around. I'm not quite sure what's the what's the drone range control what's the drone control range on those. Okay, I turned off my cannons because at this range I shouldn't be able to hit them anymore. 170 plus kilometers. And they also have their own shield field bubbles. And of course, the other shield field mod. Let's see what will happen now. We, are, we have still people joining the fleet, so fun, fun is just starting. <laughs> the fun has just started. Let's see, okay. That, that's, one, that's one close ship. Let's see if I can nail it. Should be able to, but it is on the station. Oh, they're warping away. Aha, uh -huh, okay, I see what they're doing. They are getting closer to us. Okay. I guess we also went uh, away from their optimal range on their weapons. Let's see what will what we will do now. I think they they should be in our optimal range now, so we are waiting for further orders. They are shooting us and we are shooting oh okay. Ferox Guardian next target, 70 kilometers away from us. Well, at the edge of my range at least, so I should be able to at least hit them, do some damage. And I think that this might be their optimal range with medium missile launchers on the Drakes. They might have around 80 to 90 km range with their ships, might even be a hundred kilometers. Not sure how not sure the way those ships are built. And surprisingly none of them is using a target painter. Most of these target painters are coming from our own ships. That's a little fun fact. That oracle using pulse lasers. Not quite sure if that oracle can reach those ships over there with pulse lasers. With beams, with large beams, no problem. But with large pulses, not quite sure. Might be possible. I forgot what's the range on those. I think 40 kilometers is peak for the for the pulse lasers. While for the beam lasers, it's around like 80 kilometers. As you can see, those oh they have an Armageddon over there. I haven't seen the battleship previously. And okay, I see some other battleships as well in this little ball of ships.
they are hugging that logistics over there, I mean that that guardian. And they're also repairing each other. Nice. Well, uh, I am able to hit them, so I'm not gonna complain. Doing decent damage for the range and for the resistances, especially around a couple guardians and couple logistics. We should be able to rush at them and charge them. Up, up close, they don't stand a chance. At range, they... well, they can tank us. But if we were to charge at them, I think we would be able to defeat the enemy fleet without a problem. Okay, that's one huge battleship next to me. They're good for uh, for fleets, those Tempests. I will go for Domi when I hit tier 9. Although I have one battleship already. But that ship is rather very expensive to lose, so I have to be careful with it. Not quite sure how many of those ships are left, I think. Half of the of their fleet did decide to warp at a safe spot at one point. Because... Or they, or they might just have grouped up too closely and I can't count all of the ships over there. Because they're just literally one huge icon of ships on the UI. In our case, that's a little bit different. We are a little bit more further apart. Interesting. Not... Oh, okay, they are now warping away. At that belt over there. Now, chasing them would be, I don't know, good, a good idea. But they could pick us off one by one as we warped in, so... I think we are not going to give chase, we are going to... Well, wait for them, and let's see if they will decide to come back. I think they will, because there is still a lot of a lot of enemy ships in the system. And so we did a good job defending so far. That is one small victory right here. We did not lose anyone, I believe, and we did some some damage. So at the moment, this is looking like a good victory. Of course, uh, the battle is still not over, there will be more because they are in the system and they are still coming, so there are still more players coming in. So I'm curious to see where this battle will go. I think that their logistics did a good job repairing. I think also we did have a little bit of... Uh, a issue focusing on the right target as you could see my guns were still shooting another target even though they were assigned to uh, the new primary might be the case with everyone I have no idea that's maybe one of the reasons why uh, the primaries they take so little damage not everyone was shooting at them so I think that's one of the things that should be pointed out to the rest of the fleet. Okay, well, we, we found them and uh, we engaged them in combat at a gate. They tried to sneak up on us. Well, they failed. <laughs> and okay, that was the one sky town. Oh, oh no. My internet connection trying to kill me right there, as you could see. Next primary is RB Interdictor okay secondary is that more Guardian both ships are going down rapidly and Guardian is losing its shields Dictor also soon will be I think the next primary there's also one Raven around Armageddon next, okay. 
that guardian is destroyed well will be soon destroyed it's so far holding out quite well well not anymore it's gone next target is that armageddon taking heavy shield damage taking heavy armor damage well okay that armageddon was obliterated oh my god oh my god that was that was nasty <laughs> It's whole just vanished in into thin air. And they are now warping again. Well then, uh, second victory. Very nice. We managed to nail that Armageddon. Let's see if we will give chase. I think we still have time to catch up on them. Not quite sure how much damage that battleship took, but it just got deleted from the from the grid like it wasn't even there well uh, this was fun that was a very successful system defense they tried to attack us they however did a good job at repairing themselves because we did some very little damage to them and in the end we managed to catch them because this is after all uh, our backyard the systems are like our backyard and they didn't stand a chance once we managed to get close to them well uh, that was a fun ride still taking this stubble fleet into into action again we'll replace it very soon with another battle cruiser with long range with more dps because well i think it will be time to jump on a more serious ship and the tornado so far is looking pretty good for that job and we are still waiting on the gate here in case they decide to come back i mean it would be fun if they do i'm still hungry for some pvp actually i always am hungry for for some pvp so far it seems that they are not coming back i mean that would be the smarter decision if they come back well they will be toasted <laughs> that's two interdiction spheres that's one pod that i wanna that i want to hit and well that pod was deleted not quite sure who got the kill mail. It wasn't me. Sixty-one in local. They have jumped out somewhere. Well, let's see if the intel can help us. But I don't think that we will give chase. They might have already been at a deep safe or something similar to a deep safe. Yeah, still 6-1 in local. I think the battle is over. Well, that was fun. Um, I enjoyed this little engagement. Good fight for the enemy team. Good fight for our own fleet over here. They did a good job. Both Logis on both teams were actually pretty damn good, I have to admit. Hopefully those Logis will save me when I actually need them one day. And with that being said, hope you enjoyed, stay safe, fly safe, and I'll see you next time.